Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about transformer calculations. And in my previous video I talked about how a transformer worked and what I'm going to do now is going to relate them to some formulae that may be of use. So what I have here is a transformer and this is a step down transformer and on this side here I have a hundred turns, I have 230 volts and I have a current of 0.3. I'm going to calculate my power on this side. So power is I times V. So that is going to be 230 times by 0.3, which is going to be 69 watts. Now on this side, this is the step down transformer. And because my number of turns has gone down, the EMF that would be induced would also go down by the same amount of factor. So my voltage on this side is going to be 23 volts. But like I said before, energy has to be conserved. So power is I times V, and I know it must be 69. So 23 times by my current means my current must be 3 amps. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to generalise this into a bit of a formula. Okay, I'm going to look at the idea of secondary and primary. So if I took my secondary turns and divided it by my primary turns, I would have 10 divided by 100, which is 0.1. If I look at my voltage between my secondary and my primary, I would have 23 over 230, which is also 0.1. So this ratio between my secondary and primary coils is also equal to the ratio of my secondary and primary voltage. So I can write NS over NP is VS over VP. Okay, And I could actually, without any other information, work out some interesting facts about number of turns I should have, etc. Now, sometimes my current here won't be 3 amps. Let's say I only got 2.5 because I might have lost some. Not all the current was induced correctly. So let's see how much power I would have then. So 2.5 times by 23 equals 57.5 watts. So I've lost some power. So if I was going to work out how efficient it was, if I took my output and divided that by my input and times that by 100, I could work out my percentage efficiency. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. 57.5 over 69 times by 100, that is 83%. So my transformer is 83% efficient. So I'm going to take that information, I'm going to make a formula for efficiency out of this. Okay. I'm going to take my output, which is my voltage on my secondary, and my current on my secondary, and divide it by my input, my primary. In essence, I'm taking my power at my secondary, and power over my primary. And to get the percentage, I just take that ratio, and I times it by 100. So... Transformer calculations are all about ratios. So it's important, if you want to just make sure that you're calculating right, just have a look at the equations and going, well, turns have gone up, and so because of Faraday's law, my voltage or my potential difference should go up. But to conserve energy, my current must go down. So if you have to literally label both sides, do so. You can draw all over your diagrams. And that there is the basis of transformer calculations.